In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to set up a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine and how to connect into it. I hope you'll also check the link in the description for how you can get access to all my certification courses. And I also hope uh, that you'll give me a like and a subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here I am on portal.azure.com. I'm going to go to the menu button, go to all services, and you can search for virtual machines if it doesn't show up right here, but I'm going to go ahead and click on virtual machines. I'm going to click create an Azure virtual machine. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just quickly create a, virt a resource group for that virtual machine. I'm just going to call this VM demo. Of course, you can call it anything you want. Give it a name. I'm going to call this VM1. All right, specify my region. This is going to be East US. I'm not going to enable any availability options. I'm going to go with Windows Server uh, 2022 Data Center Edition. All right. I'm just going to go with the default size here that I've got, which is two virtual CPUs, four gigs of RAM. If uh, you want to go with something smaller, you can always click See All Sizes. All right. But also, if you just want to save some money, you can do what's called Azure Spot Discount, which is just going to utilize unused space in their uh, data center. Keep in mind, this is only really good for lab environments. I'm going to set up a admin account, ELP admin for exam lab practice admin. Put in my password I want to use using RDP. All right. Now we can just if we want to alter our disk, I like to go with standard uh, hard disk drive just to save on Azure credit. It's going to create a virtual uh, network. Also, always a great idea, in my opinion, when you get to the management area here, to just set this to uh, auto shutdown. I'm going to set it to auto shutdown at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That way, if I forget to shut it down, it'll shut down itself. Going to disable boot diagnostics because I don't need that. I'm now going to click review and create. It's going to validate. Once it's done validating, I'm going to go ahead and click Create. All right, this will take just a minute to create, and I'll just pause the recording while that's happening. Now that this is complete, I'm just going to click Go to Resource. From there, we'll click the Connect button up here, Connect to RDP. All right, I'm going to download the RDP file right here and click Keep. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to click Open. Okay, going to put in my uh, username and password here. And there we go. We're now connecting into that virtual machine. It's going to go full screen, but I'm just going to adjust the screen size for you here. And here we are connecting into our server. Okay, as you can see, the virtual machine is booted up, and I can add roles and features just like I would on an on-premise server. I have all the tools and stuff that I would normally have. Down here is the start and search and all of that. And uh, so as you can see, it's very easy to set up a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine in Azure. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.